Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to discuss paper clutter and how I manage it in my home. We will be discussing taxes, receipts, vital documents, and more. Remember, my process might not look like yours, but I hope it offers up some inspiration. Let's get started. The first step to managing clutter is limiting the amount that makes it into your home. Switch to paperless billing anywhere you are able, directing all of your bills and statements to email or text. When you check your mail, quickly sort through it and determine which items immediately identify as junk. Place the junk mail in your recycling bin to avoid bringing it into the house. When making important purchases that require documentation, keep receipts in a designated space in your wallet before transferring them to their proper home in the house. Receipts that have no importance should be immediately discarded. If there are receipts that are needed for taxes, place them in a Ziploc bag and keep them in a place that is readily accessible so you can add to it throughout the year. If you are able to rid of paper clutter altogether, scan your receipts into your computer and label your folders accordingly. If you are unable to sort through mail immediately, designate a spot to keep it until you're able to sit down and sort through it in one sitting. Items that are required for taxes should be kept in one location. Sort each tax year into separate folders in case you are audited and required to present additional information. Visit the IRS website to determine how long you should hold on to tax documentation for your protection and the protection of any businesses you own. Keep any home-related documents such as pamphlets and warranties in a filing cabinet or an easily accessible binder. Credit card statements should be checked for accuracy and discarded immediately unless they are needed for tax-related transactions. Most banks archive your statements online if they become necessary. Keep monthly utility bills for one year or until you receive the next statement confirming you have paid the previous month. And finally, keep physical copies of vital documents in a fireproof document safe with a key. This includes anything that is difficult or costly to replace, such as birth certificates, social security cards, passports, etc. And there you have it. Ideally, you should try to limit paper clutter as much as possible, but if that is not possible for you, make sure you keep it organized in a way that is convenient for your needs. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, as well as visit the blog linked below for more details regarding each video and additional content that will help you live a more simplified, fulfilled life. Bye!